Mm -hmm. I just listened to all my doodles. The doodles. It is Sunday and it's time for Sunday lesson. Of course, I'm trying to get all of the lessons ready to be done. We are still in the book of Genesis. And we're still in the book of Genesis. So, chapter 3. Um, let's go ahead and start reading. The Temptation. Now, the Spirit was more. Oops. Until then. Oh, more. So till then, any best of the field which the Lord God had made, and he said unto the, unto the woman, Yea, take God said, ye shall not eat a very tree of the garden. And the woman said unto the spirit, We may not eat the fruit of the trees of the garden but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden. God has said, Thou shall not eat of neither shall y'all touch it, lest y'all die. And the Spirit said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. For God, God though <clears throat> I'm still not with it this morning, for God doth know that in the day she eat their root, then your eyes swell, shall be open, and shall be as God's knowing good and evil. Fall the man. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant, to the eyes and the tree to be desired to make one wise she took off the fruit thereof and did eat and gave also unto her husband with her and he did eat and the eyes of them both were open and they knew that there were naked and they so fig leaves together and made them self aprons. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife had themselves in presence of the Lord Almighty the trees of the garden, and the Lord God called unto Adam, and said unto him, Where art thou? And he said, I heard by the voice of the garden, and I was fell afraid, because I was naked, and I hid myself. And he said, You told me that those was naked in the dull eaten of the tree were of the command thee that those shall should not be eaten. And the man said, The woman whom thou get to give us to be with me, she gave me the tree, and I did eat. And the Lord said unto the woman, what is this that thou have last done? And the woman said, The spirit beguiled me, and I didn't eat. And, okay, the curse. And the Lord God said unto the spirit, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above the cattle, and above every last of the field, upon the belly sought through, and the dust taught through eat in the days of their life. And I will put an end between thee and the woman 
and between thy seed and there her seed it shall bruise thy head and thou shall bruise his heel and to the woman he said i will gently multiply thy sparrows and thy competition and sparrows thou shalt bring forth children Thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over three. And to Adam he said, Because thou and he say eaten the tree of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it, because it is the ground and thy snake and sparrow sought that eat of all the days of the life. Thorns also and tassel shall it bring forth to the tree, and thou shalt eat the herbs of the field. In the sweat of thy face and saw thy eat bread until thou return into the ground, for out the ways thou taken for dust throughout and to the dust shall then return. And Adam called his wife name Eve, because she was the mother of all living. And to Adam also, and unto his wife, did the Lord God make goats of skin and clothe them. Men, okay. Man sent man sent from the go garden, sorry. And the Lord said, Behold the man is because as one of us, and knowing God and evil, a good good and evil, and knowing thus he put forth his hand. And take also of thee of life and eat and live forever. Therefore the Lord God sent him forth from the garden of Eden to till the ground whose root was taken. So he drove out the man and he placed at the east of the garden of Eden. So sperm and his flaming sword was turned every way to seek the way of the tree of life. So we'll get into um, number four next Sunday. So basically when Adam and Eve ate from the tree, basically when Eve ate from the tree, she did wrong and that fourth gave us our monthly women duties that we have to do monthly that we have once a month that makes us become a bitch <laughs> but but adam did make women um part of his rib was taken out to make us so and it's not so bad being a woman men enjoy us just as much as we enjoy the men but there's a lot of things we can do with men and women can do without dirty things so i hope you enjoyed this lesson i really enjoyed teaching this lesson i love reading from the bible actually to you guys it's like bringing my brain back to normal <laughs> and actually i think God really appreciates me reading uh, reading each part of the Bible. Instead of reading in one day the whole book of Genesis, I break it up. So I'll read, you know, and now next week we'll read chapter 4, next Sunday, and we get into more of it, and we get more into the Bible and in depth with the Bible. So let's bow our heads and say a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you and pray. I pray that you take care of me and my family, Lord. I pray of, that my grandbaby will get to come see me soon. For all those who are sick and need help, I pray for them. 
for my friend Megan. Please, Lord, don't let them take her tip of her finger. Make her well and healthy for her babies. She's got kids she's got to take care of. She can't afford to be like that, Lord. I love you so much, God. And you have helped me with a lot of things. And Lord, please help me get through all these lessons and read through this Bible with you. And please, Lord, forgive me if I pronounce a word wrong or don't say it right. Just forgive me, Lord, for messing up. Take away all my sins and forgive me for them as well. Help me, Lord, with everything that I need help with and everybody, Lord. And for those who want to intrigue and come in here and listen to me read the books of the Bible, encourage them to come in, Lord, and help them find a way through you, God. And maybe it will teach them something. Until next time. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Alright guys, I hope you enjoy that video. Until next time. Bye! If you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is one of the videos I do on Sundays. I post seven days a week. Uh, Monday through Sunday. On Mondays, I do Monday makeup reviews. So check this Monday out because I got some. Ooh, I have tomorrow's video is my makeup review. Excuse me. And it's a very, very good video. Um, you can also check out yesterday's video, which I did my empty video. I do a monthly empties on not every Saturday, but once in a while it may not be on a Saturday. It could be on a Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday, whatever. On uh, Tuesdays I do Blab Lab Tuesday, so I basically just blab about nothing, you know, anything that pops up in my head. I blabbed about sex, I blabbed about drugs, and I blabbed about other things. And I blabbed about if I was the president, what I would do. Um, so, and sometimes I go back over what I've already blabbed about and talk more about it. So, And on Wednesdays, I try to do a shopping haul video. If not, I do something on Thursdays. I do... Spotlight palette. It's where I go through my makeup and I pick a palette and I do a makeup look with that palette. Um, I didn't do one this past Thursday because it was Thanksgiving. Then on Fridays, of course, I do my Friday faves. And then Saturdays, I'll do every other Saturday, I was doing Shop My Stash. But come January, I'm going to do Shop My Stash probably every Saturday instead of like every other Saturday. I may do it every Saturday to get more use out of my makeup and switch it off for a while, you know. I don't know. I haven't figured out if I want to do it every Saturday or every other Saturday still, like I've been doing. So, we'll get with that and go through it. Um, so, and of course, Sundays I do my Sunday lessons. So, until next time. I love you and hope y'all have a wonderful, blessed day.